The Universal Audio 1176 is a perennial favorite compressor limiter, but there are some standard settings that work especially well. Here's one used by the famous Los Angeles engineer Bones Howe, who engineered so many great hits of the 60s and 70s by Elvis, Frank Sinatra, Mamas and the Papas, Johnny Rivers, and many more. So first of all, let's take a quick look at the 1176 because it works a little bit differently than other compressor limiters. The big thing about the 1176 is the fastest settings are to the right. Now this is typically the slowest setting on just about every other compressor limiter, both hardware and software. But on the 1176, this is the fastest. Okay, knowing that, let's go to the Bones Howe 1176 setting. And what that is, is first of all, a ratio of 12 to one, the attack on six, and the release on seven. And this is a very aggressive setting, but it does work really well. First of all, let's try it on bass. And here's what the bass sounds without the limiter. It sounds pretty good, but let's add the limiter and see what happens. Now you can hear as soon as I took the 1176 out of the signal path, first of all it dropped in level a little bit, but the other thing that happened was it was just a little less aggressive, it was just a little less in your face, and there are some notes that were a little softer than others. But when we have it in the circuit, it's right in your face and it's up front where it should be. Now let's listen to this on some other tracks as well. For instance, let's go over to kick drum. Listen to the kick by itself. Lots of leakage there. Let's put our 1176 in, and let's go to the Bones Howe setting. Six on the attack, seven on the release, a ratio of 12 to one. Now what it's doing, it's adding a little more body than it had before. There's a little less attack, and that's because the attack setting on the 1176 is set very fast, so it's cutting some of that attack off, but you're getting much more body, and maybe that's the sound you want. Let's listen to the track. Listen with it bypassed. In this case, I like it better when it's bypassed, but you get the idea. Let's try it on the snare drum and see what it sounds like over there. So here's our snare. And let's have a listen. Here's our Bones House setting. Attack on six, release on seven, ratio of 12 to one. Now let's hear it. Let's start again with the bypass, and then I'll add it in. One of the things that happens is all of the surrounding ambience also comes up. Sometimes that's really good, especially with the drum sound, because you want to hear the room. Other times it doesn't work because you're going to hear the leakage from the other drums. But in this case, it sounds pretty good because again, it gets nice and aggressive. Let's have a listen what happens on the vocal. Here's a chance, oh, oh, to sit it out or join the dance. It's pretty solid already, but let's have a listen with the 1176. And again, Bones Howe setting, attack is on six, release is on seven, ratio of 12 to one, Let's have a listen. Here's a chance, oh, oh, to sit it out or join the dance every day. Here's a choice to lift your voice, to love, 
Let's listen in the track. Now you can hear what happens when we drop it out. The level goes down a little bit, but we also begin to lose a few words. And what we're trying to do is make sure that every word, no matter how loud and how soft, is about the same level. So again, the Bones Howl 1176 setting has the attack on 6, the release on 7, and a ratio of 12 to 1. And that's the 1176 Bones Howl setting.